what's it like to just tour Susquehanna County? Because this is a very rural area um, that has so much going on. What's it like just to visit this area? I tell you what, it, it's really exciting. And, and the best part about it is you get to see so many great people that care about their communities, that have done so, so much to not improve just their lives, but the lives of their friends and neighbors. And that's really what it's about here in Montrose and Susquehanna County. They care about the community. We all care about the community. And these are communities not just here in Susquehanna County, but they're in, they're in Potter County, they're in Snyder County, they're in Perry County, they're, they're in Union County, uh, all across the 12th Congressional District. People that, ha that, that love their community, that, that, that want to do great things for their friends and neighbors, and together they do it, and they don't want the government to be telling them how to do it. They just want to make sure that they have somebody there that if they need help, we can be attentive to what the needs are. Tell me a little about why you decided to run. Um, obviously, Marino chose to go out there earlier in the year. Tell me a little about why you decided to run. Well, the, the reason I, I'm running for Congress is the same reason that I ran for the uh, General Assembly in Harrisburg. You know, uh, when I was a kid, we were poor, you know, and, and you know, everybody says they were poor and they didn't know it. It was abundantly clear to us how poor we were. But the, our point was, we didn't let anybody define us, most of all our government. You know, by today's standards, people would call you at risk or disadvantage. No, we were just poor. But we, we knew that if we worked hard and we got an education, we could succeed. And that's evident from what we're seeing here today, you know, of how, how Cabot came in. And, you know, you have the technical school and you have the college and you have people learning. And, and the average age of now the person you're looking at is under 40. It wasn't that way a while ago. So, so the reason is if you get an education and you can succeed. I worked in a factory right out of high school. Later on, I managed that factory. I mean, it was, it was 230 employees and a $50 million a year budget. Started my own small business. You know, and then I got elected to, to the Pennsylvania General Assembly by my friends and neighbors in the community to represent them in Harrisburg. And because I did what I said I was going to do, they re-elected me four times. But it's that American dream. It's what happened here, right here in Montrose in Susquehanna County that made everything possible because people can come together and they can do it. They don't need, they don't need their government to define them and tell them how to do it. They, they have the answers. And that American dream needs to remain alive and well for generations to come. And that's really my goal, to work alongside the people of the 12th Congressional District to solve problems. But I'm not the person with all the answers. They are. I just help facilitate things if, if they need government to be responsive. A responsive government, not a controlling government. Last two questions. Um, for the 12th District, what would you like to see done down in Washington, D.C.? Well, the, the thing I'd like to do, and it's very important to people, is make sure the tax cuts that so many people have benefited from remain permanent. That's one thing that needs to happen. Another thing that needs to happen is we need to make sure we take care of our veterans. You know, because when, when we look at being able to have the American dream, you know, you look at what our great republic was laid out by our founders. It's been paid for by the, every generation of veterans since and now our active duty military personnel. And we need to make sure that they get the care and they get the, the things they need. And uh, that's, a, that's a priority of mine also. President Trump coming. What was, what's that like for you? I'm assuming you got a phone call saying that he wants to come to Montreal on Monday to campaign for you. What's that been like? Well, actually it's been, been, been a really good thing because President Trump is coming to Montoursville for the people of the 12th Congressional District. President Trump has gone down, and you know, everybody talks about wanting a politician that's going to tell you what they're going to do and then do it. President Trump has done that. And the people from the 12th Congressional District helped to elect him president. So he's coming here because he knows that I'm the best person to help him keep his promises, you know, to finish the work that he started. I'm the candidate that he believes in, and that's why he's coming here to support me. And I think we should all welcome the president because he's got a good message. He's, he's done great. I mean, you look at jobs, lowest unemployment rate since I was four years old, okay? That's how great things are. Real wage growth for the first time in over a decade. And America, I mean, putting America's first, our military. Uh, so, you know, look at that. President Trump is coming here because he believes in the people of 12th Congressional District. And he wants to make sure that they understand that the best person to help him get that done in this election is me. And I'm really honored that he has that confidence in me to come down there and help him. So I would appreciate the people of the 12th Congressional District uh, coming out on May 21st and, and helping to send me down to help President Trump.